The Inquirer's Journal. Hugo speaking. Hey, boss, it's me. Gail? I thought you left for the holidays. I can't stop thinking about it, boss. The letter? I can't get it out of my head. Something about this one just feels different. Different? What are you talking about? Is this about the hotel story again? I just think it could be worth checking out, is all. I keep thinking... Didn't I tell you to not waste time with this kind of crap? These people are lonely, Gail. They have nothing better to do. They just want some form of recognition. Even this Ben guy? He doesn't exist. Believe me, this is all hogwash. I've seen it before. I'm just saying, this one feels different. It just doesn't make sense. Lying about something like this, and the letter itself, something about it really stuck with me. What are you really asking me here? I think I'm asking you to trust me. Listen, I'll even bring my own camera. Do you have a title? I'll figure it out. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm playing a game called Onlooker. <clears throat> Benjamin Sin. The Inquirer's Journal. Dated January 9th, 1979. By Gail Smith. My arrival seems to be expected. A single room key with a note attached. Someone here has been waiting for me. So, this is a game about spying on people, I think? Oh, picked up the key for room 203. Yeah, I believe I'm supposed to... Okay. The lagginess is not appreciated. I think I'm supposed to spy on people in their rooms. Go ahead and shut that off. Now, I don't condone these sorts of actions. I can't open that because it is blocked by a singular board that doesn't even seem to be nailed in. It seems like something I could easily just pull off, but... I guess not. As I was saying, I don't condone this sort of action, like spying on people. It's not right. It's not a good thing to do. But that's the name of the game, Onlooker. I'm looking on. I, can I read any of these? Is there anything to read? Oh, look at the puppy. Missing dog. Oh, no. Have you seen our beloved Bob Bingy? <laughs> that's his name, Bob Bingy. Please let us know at reception. Thank you. Well, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for Bob Bingy, especially with a name like that. I gotta say, this place is very fancy. Do I really want to spy on people here? There's even a chessboard. Wow, the detail in this game is pretty staggering. Very nice. Very good. The hotel's glory days might be long past, but the walls are strangely comforting. Well, I don't know why I'm trying to open other people's doors. I'm supposed to be going into room 203. It says, please do not disturb. And here we go. Here's my room. Go ahead and close that door so nobody spies on me. What does it say? Gail Smith, I know I said I would meet you here and I will. I just need you to see something first. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before you realize. It will all become clear to you then. Enjoy your stay. Take your time. Look around. Benjamin. All right, then. Well, that's as cryptic as it gets. Yeah, let's leave that radio on. Gives me a sense of, uh, sense of comfort, like there's somebody else here with me. I might have hoped Benjamin would meet me here, but no such luck. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't think I would ever want to stay in a hotel room that looks like this. Even though it is very fancy, it's extremely creepy looking, to say the least. Oh, the bathroom. What does this say? I mean, I kind of thought that that might be a thing, an important thing, uh, when I saw it. But the only thing is, I don't know how to access that. Definitely referring to this here. Oh, well, that's how I access it. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that so I'm not... Turns out the door to the mystery was right here with me all along. Benjamin wanted me to see something. Use the camera flash to see in dark places. What's the... How? Find the key. How do I camera flash, though? What is this? Norma and Toad. Dirty, lazy workers. Norma never does anything but complain, and Toad is a stupid fuck. I watched them drop some meat on the floor and still serve it. Ugh. Pretty sure they serve bites of people's food to the dog as well. That fucking stupid dog, Bob Bingy. 
keeps barking at the ceiling. He knows I'm up here. Must do something about him. I swear to God, if you hurt Bob the Bingy. staff going about their day, fulfilling their mundane tasks. Little did they know that someone was keeping an eye on them, waiting for a misstep. I mean, I don't really see anybody there. So you can't really say there's any sort of misstep. Still a little confused about the whole camera flash situation. What is this? Ooh, a cake. The cake is a lie. All right. Um, I don't know what they mean by fla the camera flash. Is there any way to do... What is this? Shut up. The lovebirds, they've been here for four weeks. Don't they have anywhere to be? Never seen far apart. Skin always touching in some way. Almost enough to make a man jealous. Except Mary is always just crying, and Michael is the one with the black eye this time. Oh. That's not good. Oh. Uh. I remember hearing breathing, she said. But I wasn't in a state of mind to think anything of it. And she thought her husband was the only one who knew of her violent outbursts. Okay. Don't know what those feet are about, but they're there. Um, can you please explain to me the camera flash? Because I don't have a camera. Well, I'm not even going to bother with that anymore because there's no indication of that. So I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna go down here. Let's see what else. What else I am to spy on in this place? I hoid that. I hoid that noise. Stop making noises over there. Is this some sort of maze? Strange place to make a lair. Dusty and cramped. I wonder if he watched me from his bed when I arrived. Um. Oh. Is this looking directly into the room I was in? Oh, okay. Yep, you definitely watched me then. I mean, it's clear as day. The entrance of this place. Um. Is this it? Is this all I can do down here? Is there no way out of here? Oh, here we go. Haha! -ha. Look at me. I'm a big, stupid genius. What is this? He hid in the shadows of his room to drink and sleep his days away. The stench of liquor carries through the vent and becomes an opening for the world to know his terrible secret. Okay, that's not something you want to hear in a family friendly channel. <laughs> Uh, Bo. Bottle collection is impressive at this point, growing more and more every day. All he does is watch pornography. I'm surprised he could still get enough with all that alcohol in his blood. The other day I heard him talking to somebody on the phone. It sounded relatively one-sided. I wonder if the girls in reception are ignoring him on purpose. They have a good reason to. Alright, let's get, let's move away and let's talk over the very profane noises. That will definitely get me in trouble. Oh my god, I just hovered up into the air. Uh, oh, a secret entrance. Secret. It's a secret. Tell me this is my room and not somebody else's. I do not want to be held accountable for whatever happens here. This is definitely not my room. 100% not my room, but here's the key. I got a key. Take the key. I will show you something. All right. Not sure how I feel about that knife, though. Better not be trying to pull a fast one on me, I swear to God. Let's go ahead and open that door, close it. Oh, nobody saw me come in here. No, no, everything's fine. What key is this for? Come back out. It's played in the minute zone end behind the Red Wing goal. That's John cleared it on the left. 
Uh, oh. What is happening? Wait, why is this open again? When I specifically closed it before, I did. I didn't notice this before. Mr. Stevens is back again like an old friend. Doesn't your wife worry, Isaac? Does she know where you are? He still spends all his time eating or wandering around his room. Nothing ever changes. In some ways, it's comforting to watch him. The TV is turned up too loud for him to hear me knocking on the wall. Disgusting. This guy worked a normal job. Had a normal life. And when that life grew gray and boring, most this is where he would come, bought on the advice of to be completely alone. Turns out he wasn't. Big business. About eight billion dollars worth in 1960. What do you mean he wasn't? Oh, duh. Use the camera flash to see in dark place. See, I don't know what you're talking about. The camera flash. Today, are for drugs that were unknown 15 years ago. All right. Well, I'm definitely progressing because I haven't been here before. Okay. I'm crouched again. This is very red and ominous. Accumulation of one week's mail to a what? psychiatrist, a gynecologist, and a pediatrician. What does it say? MD Why did you have to pee? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You are fucked up. I am fucked up. I'm the only one who see us for what we are. And I see my part in it. I'm waiting for you, Gail. There's nothing left for me. He ordered grapes, wine, and cheese, sat on his couch watching his favorite show. What a life. The grape went straight down his throat and he choked three minutes. He struggled for about three minutes. Eventually his face turned blue and his arms dropped dead. Isaac Stevens died by suffocating on a grape. I just stood there watching. Freak. Oh yeah, definitely dead. 100% dead. Look at him. Dead. What is this say? Do you see now? I let him die, I let him die, I let him die. You freak, dude, you're freak. Freak in nature. That's what you are. That's all you'll ever be. Benjamin made a whole world inside these walls. And he made sure nobody knew. Even though they were all part of it. They had no idea the purpose he found in lying in wait. Looking in on all their sad little lives. And what did I feel? I saw the openings. And gladly, I looked. Okay. I'm just kind of taken aback by the way the snow is falling here. It actually looks really good. Very, very nice. Very calming and serene. Oh, look. There it is again. Alright, what is this? This is the end of our story. Make it a good one. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, that's neat. Even though it's very grim, it's still neat. Is that Benjamin? This is a story about remorse. This is a story about obsession. Benjamin couldn't live with the weight of his sin. He had seen too much and had nobody to tell it to. I saw what he saw, and it still wasn't enough to shift the blame. But the worst part of it all? I think I understand. So what does that mean? You want to do the same thing? No, don't, no, no. Oh, would you look at this? They actually have all the people who worked on the game in picture form. Very, very, very good game. Very story driven. Not really a horror game, more like a murder mystery type of game, but this was really, really good. You know, it's very rare that you find a game on Itch.io that's very reliant on narrative-based gameplay. And those that I typically find that try to do that aren't necessarily the best. This one definitely ranks up there with one of the better narrative-driven horror games that I found on Itch.io. 
Anyway, this was really good. It gets a nice, big, fat, juicy thumbs up from me. If any of you want to try this game out for yourself, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description for you. But for now, that's all the time I have left for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button down below if you did. I'm very sorry I said smash that like button. And also feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video down below. I love interacting with people. I love any and all feedback. And if you did happen to enjoy it and you want to subscribe, there is a nice juicy red subscribe button down below that you can click with your mouse. You know, you just press your finger down while you're hovered over it. And if you do, you can catch a new video up to five days a week on this channel. Thanks again for watching everyone. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy. Thank you.